in this video I am changing the radiator and I'm also modifying the thermostat on this V35 Nissan Skyline the first thing I'm doing is removing the front grille um, which is pretty simple just it's held on by some clips then I'm going to be removing the air intake system the air box and the air duct um, basically this car is very similar to the Nissan Stasia I had before so um, I'm pretty familiar with working on this car and now the gloves are not to protect against dirt or oil they are to protect against cuts scratches if you are working on this car the air box right where my hand is there is a sensor it's called an air intake sensor do not disconnect this sensor unless the battery has been removed because if you do you're going to have to reset the engine ECU so next I'm going to be removing this plastic gear guide that is at the back of the radiator and it's held on by two screws this is also maybe a good time to remove the water lines going to the top part of the radiator which are my left hand right now um, there should be one that goes to the reservoir and also the one that goes from the top of the radiator to the engine This air guide has a section that can be removed at the bottom to allow it to go past the fan um, Sometimes it's a bit of a pain some people remove the entire fan with the air guide Which is what I'm doing right now. The fan is held on with just four bolts. So it's pretty easy Right now I'm removing the transmission fluid lines from the bottom of the radiator. Right now I'm removing the two things that keep the top of the radiator stable. After that I'll be removing the two bolts that hold the radiator to the air conditioned condenser. This part is a bit tricky. The air conditioned condenser sits on the radiator. So basically what you have to do first, you have to lift up the air conditioned condenser push down the radiator once they are separated then you have to lift the radiator out of the section that it sits inside the car So basically this is the radiator that um, I got from the auction um, you can see the condition of the radiator is pretty good not sure I don't remember the mileage of the vehicle it came off but you can see it's a pretty good condition radiator So right now I'm going to be fitting the radiator back in um, and it's basically just the reverse remember that the AC condenser sits inside a groove on the radiator so you have to put the radiator in first then fit the AC condenser into that groove right now I'm reconnecting the transmission fluid lines Alright, so up next we're going to be removing the thermostat so we can do the modification to it. Uh, 
all right so basically um this thermostat or this car is having some kind of cooling issue and i assess that it's probably due to a low flow of coolant um so what i'm gonna do is uh, it's getting hotter now in japan so actually we don't need the thermostat the main purpose of the thermostat is to slow the flow of the coolant and raise the engine temperature um, so that in winter the car is driving at the optimum engine temperature but when it's in the summer you don't really need that feature because the car gets up to optimum temperature um, by itself pretty quickly um, basically how this works there's a pressure spring and the pressure is further enforced by mercury inside the valve when the mercury gets hot it changes its density and the spring flexes allowing water to to stop it stops the water right but when the car gets up to optimum temperature it releases the spring and the water flows um, more fluidly or the water flows better <laughs> the water flows better so i'm going to remove this and hope that it sorts out the engine problem and the drive the owner of the car just pull up okay so the thermostat itself has actually been removed so you have nothing obstructing the flow of the water right now you're going to just flow right through so we're going to reinstall this and we're going to put the car together and test it the hardest part of reinstalling the thermostat for me was making sure that the gasket was aligned while putting the, screw, the bolts in um, if you can get that part done properly like with ease then reinstalling the thermostat is very easy Yes, this, this was a mistake. Um, putting back this air guide first before putting on the lower radiator hose was a big mistake. After you put this in and then try to put that hose in, very, very difficult thing to do. So if you are doing this, I advise you, put on that lower radiator hose first, then you put on the air guide. So after waiting about 15 minutes with that hose, um, next is putting in the air cleaner box and the air intake duct, topping up the coolant and checking for leaks. So everything has been torqued down so next we're going to top up the coolant and check for leaks if there are no leaks then we're going to start the engine keep checking for leaks and then after that we will just go for a test drive so far so good next is a startup so basically we just finished um, everything we had a engine check light coming on here so we had to do the Nissan procedure for resetting the check light which is basically following these steps right here 
um, and let me tell you if you don't have the timing right it's not gonna work you have to follow the exact seven seconds and ten seconds so I had to use a stopwatch to get it done um, but yeah the engine check light is okay the car's temperature which is right here is also where it should be um, again we removed the thermostat from the car so in the winter time you'll find that maybe the car takes a little more time to warm up but that's the only thing um, and here we have no leaks the engine is running nice and smooth there are some uh, leaks right here for oil I think it's a head gasket or the uh, camshaft cover gasket that's leaking right there and it's the same on this side you can't see it because uh, there's no light but yeah it's, there's some oil sweating there you can see here there's no water leak um, where the thermostat is there's also no water leaking from that area it's right up under here in the dark spot of course you cannot see it but yeah basically that's it my job is done thanks for watching much more to come